Mayor Faulkner told us yesterday the city will rely on a group of museum leaders and volunteers to move forward with plans for the 2015 Balboa Park Centennial Celebration. Among those saving the day, or in this case, saving San Diego's Party of the Century, are my guests, Peter Kaminsky, Executive Director of the Balboa Park Cultural Partnership, and Jim Kidrick, President and CEO of the San Diego Air and Space Museum. Welcome to Evening Edition. Thank you. Peter, nine museums in the park received uh, $300,000 in seed money, which doesn't seem like a lot compared to the uh, nearly $3 million that the now disbanded uh, planning committee uh, is alleg has allegedly spent. How has the museums already used that seed money, or have they? Peggy, they absolutely have, and it's, it's critical when you're doing museum and museum exhibition development that you have access to some funding pool. And so that has proven invaluable for the institutions. But really as an impetus for other activities, it's now driven all 17 museums to, to develop quite active and, and exciting exhibitions, programs and activities, over 70 now, and more coming every day for the, for the year next year, but also then for the future as we step through uh, many, many years to come. So that it'll carry on. Give us an idea of what kinds of events uh, are, are being planned at these museums. I'll just give you a few. I, I could talk for hours, but I could give you just a couple of exhibitions. There's Ingenious, which is a Dr. Seuss exhibition that will be at the, at the History Center. There's an exhibition called Seven Billion Others uh, at the Museum of Photographic Arts, which is an international exhibition, first showing in the, in the US in San Diego. Uh, but then other exhibitions at the NAT are, are, are things like the Meyer exhibition and then an arts exhibition called Surfs Up, the design of surfboards. There are just too many to go through and they all match for, for such a variety of, of our visitors. And are they trying to coordinate uh, for the centennial? All of the museums, the cultural partnership, its sole goal is to have everyone work together. So not just for the centennial, but ongoing as well. Well, Tim, we, 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 <laughs> we need to know what's happening at the Air and Space Museum. What do you have planned? Well, we're going to open up a special exhibition in addition to all of the other fun, uh, inspirational activities the museum has day to day. Uh, we've got something called To the Extreme Math Alive, the most interactive STEM or science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and I always add innovation exhibit you'll see anywhere in the world. And it's something for all ages and, uh, and certainly men, women, boys, girls, and we're very, very excited to be a part. And it's interactive, so that's sort of what you're uh, bringing for the- Extremely interactive, and I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna be fun. And that's really a, you know, a byword that we all use because if the experience isn't fun, uh, they're not going to be inspired, they're not going to get that education that we all want them to get. And you're talking about fun, after all, it is a party. Peter, is there an ad campaign or an outreach plan uh, that your group is doing to try to let uh, San Diegans and visitors know about what's going to be happening in 2015? Um, both in 2015 and beyond, one of the there, there are a couple of wonderful tools we have at our disposal. One is the, the new Balbal Park Explorer, a, a, a wonderful communications tool, but also gives general admission to everybody who uses that in the, in the park, to every museum. Um, from that, we're also hoping to then run both a, a local and hopefully regional and maybe even national uh, marketing campaign about exhibitions and programmings and, and all the wonderful things that happen this exceptional jewel that is Balbal Park. Yeah, now, Jim, you told KPBS reporter Angela Carone that you're committed to a celebration that the city would be proud of. What does that look like to you? Well, I think it's ensuring, okay, that we highlight those rich legacy institutions that we have in Balboa Park. That's the core. And I think that's where we, we need to ensure that we focus a lot of attention there because they will be uh, the primary nucleus of the show and it's very important that we plan kind of inside out so when people you know enjoy Balboa Park and and the guest experience is provided that we can provide that they when when they come to the park they do come into those because if they come to the park and they don't go into them then we haven't we haven't been successful and then it's a walk in the park and, and not through the museums right. um, I just had to get that in. Now, Peter, uh, is the Cultural uh, Partnership Fund raising for this event, and uh, do you anticipate any more public funds from the city? Uh, we're not looking for public funds. That's not the goal. Indeed, all of the museums, as they operate, um, are operating with exhibitions that were probably booked two years out. Now, it doesn't mean if new opportunities arise that we won't consider them, and all of our institutions, as any nonprofit, is constantly out looking for additional funds because we want to do more program. So if we can drive more program, we would absolutely encourage additional investment. But in order to deliver those 70 exhibitions, there's not one more cent we need to raise. All of those exhibitions and programs are on their 
way and will be around the, uh, the building in, uh, in 2015. Well, we'll certainly be following this up before the big day uh, starts in 2015. Peter Kamiski and um, Jim Kedrick, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.